Receptacles for the Ocean Spa. There's two uh, two styles of receptacles in, and for if any reason you might need to remove one, we're gonna go over the process. This here is their Super Swim Pro. And we'll just sit back and watch. Find a bit of heat. Not too much heat. You don't want to overheat and heat up the acrylic and make it boil. We're hitting that. You'll see when this opens up that it was it's hollow and we're trying to either pry up the top piece or all of it together. Right, you don't want to grab it with your hand immediately because it'll be hot. You'll burn yourself. Beware. That's up. Then we're going to have the excess plastic weld kicking around there, so we're going to want to sand that down. Not all the way to the center, but just these outside edges. Try to sand it down to the acrylic surface so that it's uh, more cosmetically appealing because the new one that goes in is slightly smaller. Okay, now the hole will be big enough for the new uh, receptacle to go in. There's just an abundance of plastic weld you can see in there. So you're going to use that flat blade screwdriver, start busting that away, then you're going to grab a Dremel tool and uh, just clean it up and do a little bit of reaming to make sure that the new receptacle is going to fit. So once we have it, uh, most of it chipped away, you can use a die grinder, um, Dremel tool, in someone's backyard, obviously, we have a die grinder here, just for speed reasons. That tool that he's using on the uh, die grinder there is called a burr. You can pick it up at any industrial hardware store. Okay, we're going to do that bit of clean up around the edge. You want to be very careful. See, just nice, gentle little taps. Okay, after chipping away the large pieces with the screwdriver, this is a uh, three-inch uh, three grinding disc. And you see here, for practical use, we just have it mounted onto a drill. And we're going to sand down the excess plastic weld. Let's use the automated sander on the drill. You're going to get some fine sandpaper and just uh, clean up any of the deep scratches. Especially if you have any in the acrylic, just first kind of so it'll be uh, cosmetically appealing to the customer once we're finished. So we're going to clean that all up. So once we get it all cleaned up, you're going to get the new receptacle. We're going to set it in place. And you're going to take a 13 64ths drill bit, that's 13 64ths, and you're going to pile it into the shell. Gonna sit in there. Note the, the uh, rubber gasket. So there'll be no need for uh, plastic welding it in.
There you have a new receptacle installed. Okay, we have the other style, which is a, sw it's a smaller swim pro. Uh, the only real difference is this is uh, this top plate is solid, not hollow like the last one. The size. <coughs> and we're gonna do pretty much the same process. You're just gonna need a little bit more heat, and because it's solid and this piece in here is solid, it's, uh, it sucks all the heat out. So we try to beat this out first, so it doesn't rob all the heat from heating up the plastic weld underneath here for trying to pry it up. zoom in here. If you guys notice, you can see there's a line right, oh, right there because that center pin or shaft is actually threaded onto this solid top cap. So we're trying to beat the screwdriver oh, into that groove right there to disrupt the threads and beat that shaft down. So we got the whole thing pried up there. This is our lucky day. And it pops out. Bottom falls out of it. The bottom is. Oh, the bottom too. pops out, so you gotta wiggle it back and forth. Anyway, here's your optimal situation. Otherwise, it's gonna take a little bit more excessive force. You'll use that bar, pry back and forth, and try to beat out that bottom shaft, and then pry off the top piece. On any note, once we pull that out, We're going to have to clean up the plastic weld around the edge, sand it down, and then uh, drill in the new receptacle.